Well, one person keeping a close eye on the national political landscape is former Cincinnati Councilwoman Yvette Simpson. On January 1st, she will become the chief executive of an organization that boasts a membership of one million people. Its goal? Elect progressive candidates nationwide. This year has really been an amazing year in showing me what's possible. A year ago, Yvette Simpson was trying to make history in her quest to become Cincinnati's mayor. She won the primary. We scared the hell out of him, which is great. But she came up short in the general election against incumbent John Cranley. What I've learned is that my voice is important. Now she's been picked to head up Democracy for America. The progressive movement has been unapologetic this year, has taken chances on some amazing candidates who, um, you know, traditional parties, Democratic Party, Republican Party might have overlooked. And we had big gains. You know, this year's class, which I'm extremely proud of, people who I've grown to love and they're like family, are the most diverse, uh, the most female, and the most progressive ever in our history. Much of her attention will be aimed at 2020. People are already talking, who's going to run, um, who are we going to support? And really, the job of organizations like Democracy for America is, one, to be a part of the conversation. Whoever is planning on running has to answer questions about health care, about education. What are you going to do about criminal justice reform? What are you going to do about immigration? These issues that matter to progressive organizations. And if we endorse a candidate, they're going to be our candidate, and they're going to have to make sure that they're carrying forward those messages and those issues. Simpson will be based here in Cincinnati, but no doubt a lot of frequent flyer miles will be racked up. By the way, she will make history too by becoming the first woman of color in an executive leadership role for DFA.